afternoon. My name is Cindy. I'm co-founder of Chalk and Fable Upholstery. I just wanted to introduce you to my home and everything that I have created in it. So we remodeled our house a couple years ago. The whole thing was really dark and brown and we wanted to update it. So in my, my style, I just love white. I love a clean slate. So we painted all the walls white. We put up shiplap. We incorporated just wood grains and I really love how it turned out. This is my front room and all the furniture in my home I have reupholstered. So we have this Thomasville couch right here that I got for a really good deal. And um, one of our signature marks for Chalk and Fable is using European German sacks and grain sacks. So that's what I did on this couch right here. I love that this is so old. If, if you come over here, you can see it's like a 1912 German sack. I really want to give a shout out to my friend Aubrey at The Simple Nest. She is the one that provides me with all these German sacks that I use on my furniture as well as all my clients' furniture. We like to use every square inch of the German sacks. So you can see that the date was at the bottom. On the corner I used, incorporated the little tie of the sack. And on my couch I have um, the European grain sacks that are super, probably about 100 plus years old. So if you can see on the back of my couch, I, the German sack does have a name on it, which is the farmer's name. Um, they always stamped their sacks so that they knew who the, the grain was going to. I love how it has all these little blemishes and holes that were patched up, the stitching. I, get, I think it gives so much character to um, the sacks and how we use them. So we didn't want a cookie cutter home. We kind of wanted everything personalized to us. That's why we have this long church pew bench. We love using antiques. Over here we have a Turkish rug that is an antique. We love antiques. And so we, um, as we travel, because we do love to travel, Chalk and Babel loves to go to Europe. We love to just go to different states and look for antiques. Um, we did go to um, Texas and find these uh, Egyptian doors and I had my dad drive them back to me. I love things like that that just give character to our home. Okay so we love that um, our house tells a story and Chalk and Fable in the name Fable we we love that name because we know that every piece of furniture has a story and can tell a story and so all the pieces of furniture that you see in our house have a background. So my husband knew that I wanted a couch and I was not about to get a couch from a regular um, RC Willie store. And this one is from Restoration Hardware. I told my husband that I could not find it for under 10 grand and he um, started searching for this couch. And he actually found it on Facebook Marketplace and it said $100. And so he called the people and they said, you know what, if you come today, it's free, it's yours, just take it out of our hands. And so he brought it home and I, I was in love with it. So I stripped it down. You can see that the whole back is tucking. Um, I stripped it down and reupholstered it for us for under $200. So fabric can be cheap if you find it at a good deal. Um, and you can find really good deals on Marketplace with the furniture that you're looking for. So when you travel, and it doesn't have to be Europe, it can be anywhere, and you find some fabric that you love, you can bring it back to us and we can make you beautiful pillows. On one of our trips to Europe, we did stop by Portugal and I bought all these linens that I brought back and turned into pillows. So also on Facebook Marketplace, we found these chairs and you have to really look at the bones. You have to look at the structure of them because I most of the time when you find old antique furniture, the fabric is horrendous and you're not gonna want that in your house. So you have to picture it stripped down and in the fabric that you'll wanna choose for them. 
But so that's what I did with these chairs and I love the wood. It's completely hand carved antique and I stripped it down. They were super dark chairs, dark wood. And I stripped them down to look natural and put a white wax on top of them. And then I picked this nice light ticking fabric for them. So one of my greatest finds were, were these bar stools. I found a lady that wanted to sell them and she said that her interior designer was rearranging her whole house and she needed to get rid of these stools even though she had just bought them. They're Hooker brand, which is so expensive. She actually told me that she bought them for $600 a stool. And she, I just needed four of them. And she said, if you take all six, I'll sell them for $250 for all six. And so I said, of course. And I brought them home and stripped them down and just recovered them in this striped fabric. I really do have this sweetest husband. And so for Christmas one year, he knew that I wanted an apothecary and the one I wanted on, um, online was probably like $7,000. And we weren't going to do that because we do things ourselves and save money. So. He went out and found this dresser for about 20 bucks, I think it was, and recreated it into this. Now we don't do that as Track and Fable. We do furniture and we do paint, um, we do upholstery, and sometimes we paint the legs and the backs, but we don't do this. He does that. So I don't want to steer you wrong, but I just wanted to showcase what he did for me, and we'll show you a picture of the before. There are four of us uh, that do Chalk and Babel and two of them, which are twins, Angie and, and Andrea, Angela, in Kentucky. She actually has, she does these paintings and she, you can find her on our website also, our, our Facebook page. It's called Fable House Oils. So look for her paintings too because they're amazing, all of them are. When we bought our house, it didn't have a dining room. It just had a little nook for a breakfast table and that wasn't enough for us. So we completely took out the bay window and opened it up. And this was actually our back porch and we turned it into our dining room. I love that I found this restoration hardware table online for $500, you guys. I think it was brand new and they just didn't need it anymore because they were moving. Um, all these chairs, these dining chairs are restoration also, and we recovered them in a European linen. These captain chairs that I have on each side of my table, I got them for my sister-in-law and I actually stripped them down and I thought I was going to like the raw wood, but I put a darker stain on top of them and I liked them more. I think it's just a really nice contrast with everything else, with the light linens that we like on them. One of my favorite finds in an antique store is this over dyed black grain sack that I found that I brought home and turned into pillows for my captain chairs in my dining room. These are European sacks that we can get. So you can see on my table, I have another a uh, European grain sack. We love to decorate with those in our houses. And this is, oh, I love this piece. I actually got it from Scott at Green Brick in Ogden, Utah. Um, he has just like an amazing gift for finding awesome things to put into the store, just a collection of amazing things. And it's just like such a cool big dough bowl that's antique that you can just get from Europe. Also, I got this little demijohn. So my husband kind of gets thrown into stuff and <laughs> he's like such a good sport. But so for Mother's Day um, a couple years ago, he came to me and he said, hey, for Mother's Day, I want to paint that little hutch that you want. Just let me know what paint a color that you want it to be. And I'm like, well, instead of painting that, can you just brick this wall? <laughs> he's like, that went from 
like a two hour project to like a two week project. And it only took him four days. <laughs> he did this for me for Mother's Day and it's actual brick. Him and my kids, they actually um, laid every brick on this wall for me. And I think it came out amazing. It's like my favorite wall in the whole house. I love how it turned out. Thanks for taking a tour of my house. I hope you've gotten to know me more. If you're local, we do have uh, locations here in Utah and Kentucky. We'd love to help you out. If you're not local, we have an Etsy shop that you can visit. I'll share the link in my description. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe my videos. We're also on Facebook and Instagram.